Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is September 15th and yesterday on the 14th, um, we had a very short garage selling time period that we could go to garage sales and because we were going to a football game. Um, and yes, I am a sunburnt from that. <laughs> um, but we went to a neighborhood garage sale and um, we stopped at a couple of garage sales, but I only picked up items um, at one garage sale and I got 28 items at that at the one garage sale. So, um, I paid $2 for some items and a dollar for others. So equaled out to a dollar 71 per item, which is great when you're going to see some of the brands that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. All right. So I did get five pairs of shoes. So we're going to go through those first. These definitely do need just a little bit of a cleanup. Um, they just have a little bit of mud and just normal um marks but i think with a magic racer these will come right off and if you can see that it is mwl for madewell these are these sidewalk tennis shoes um, i believe all the shoes were a size eight or seven and a half so um all the shoes she had asked two dollars for so again averaging out to about a dollar 71 per item um so picked up those and then i also picked up this pair of tennis shoes and again definitely need some um cleaning but they are kind of this green gray uh color and as you can see here they do zip up here and then they have a tie as well um but this brand is paul green which i believe is a like uk british brand um i've only had uh this brand once in my closet and it came from a pair of shoes out of a mystery shoe box from thread up so i'm you know excited to see how these will do um like i mentioned the cost of goods was so low um i was happy to pay pay two dollars for those found a pair of chacos now these are obviously not the classic chacos but they're in excellent condition um they have this like dark blue and white printed strap and tread looks really good these were a size eight found another pair of chacos and again not your classic chacos but um, these were in excellent condition as well. Um, these were a size eight, I believe. Yes, size eight. So definitely picked those up. I know we're heading out of sandal season, but you know, you gotta pick them up, pick them up when you can. So, <laughs> um, these are really cute. They are a blue leather upper, uh, open toe platform wedge sandal, and they are by the brand Corky's, which I do really well with. Um, so I was very excited to see these. Um, and these were a size eight as well, leather upper and lining. So very happy with the shoes I found. Um, there was a pair of fry boots that were very heavily distressed for $20 that I did not pick up as well as a pair of like short hunter boots. Um, you know, a couple years ago, I probably would have picked them up. She had them for $10. Um, I believe they were new in the box, but, um, Hunter has just not done well for me in the last like year to two years. So, um, I just, didn't want to spend that much money on it and increase the average cost of goods for all of my items. So all the rest of what I have is clothes. And like I mentioned, some of the clothes was $2. She had um, a big rack of clothes hanging up and anything on that rack was $2. And then she had a table and then like a tarp on the ground and anything that was um, there was only a dollar. So I'll try to remember which items were $2 versus $1, but um, what I'm gonna record is just that average cost of goods, um, and which is what I do for every grad sale day. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. She had a lot of anthropology and a lot of um, just really nicer brands. So first one I picked up is Moth. Now this typically has not done it very well for me. However, I just thought this was adorable. We're going into the right season for it. It's just a mini dress or you could also do like a tunic with some leggings underneath. It is a size medium, but um, the material was also really nice. It is an acrylic and wool blend. Um, so it also has a little bit of that threading um, still included in on it. And all of her items were in excellent condition. Um, and then while we were there, I did hear, I think one of her neighbors um, talking with her saying that every year when she has her grad sale, she ends up buying a bunch of her stuff. So she has a lot of her clothing and stuff in her own closet. Um, so I'm just gonna have to keep an eye out for this grad sale every single every single year now that I know that she tends to have a grad sale with clothes every single year so um next is a pair of leggings these are like a black jacquard um printed 
kind of printed. It's very, very light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, they are Athleta size small. Now these are a little bit older, but I did pick them up because they're in excellent condition and they're the full length. They're not like a crop or anything like that. Um, this was from fall of 2017. So, you know, a little bit older. However, black does really well for me. And then the longer length definitely does well for me as well. Um, I believe those two were off of the dollar. Um, section and this was hanging up so it was two dollars this is sparrow by anthropology size small again going into the right season for it. it has that cowl neck it's a long sweater dress and then the hem has this really pretty like purple dark maroon color as well as the trim of the pockets here um, and then this as well was a really good material content um, viscose lamb's wool cotton and cashmere so um yeah definitely pick that up for two bucks this next item was only a dollar um and i do pretty well with this brand it is barefoot dreams this is the cozy chic line it's a small slash medium because it is a cardigan um but very pretty soft pink color and yep like I mentioned, definitely going into the right season for it. I was very happy to find this brand, which I know hasn't been doing amazing um, as it used to when I first started reselling, but I still like picking it up. Johnny was, um, this is Johnny was Los Angeles, size small. It's like a velvet brown color with a ton of embroidery. This is definitely like a tunic mini dress, I'd say, but probably more like a tunic um, style. It has some really cute short flutter sleeves. And then... This is um, rayon and silk blend. And then the trim is 100% polyester. But yeah, definitely happy about this. This was um, marked at $2. It was hanging up. All of these pants that I picked up, um, or bottoms rather, um, were only a dollar. So I was very happy with that. Um, this is Beyond Yoga. I love picking up this, uh, this brand. This is a style that I don't think I've ever found before. It has kind of a twist knot here. It is a crop style, but this brand does really well for me. Um, it does not have a size, however, I'm not opposed to just measuring. Then I have two pairs of the same shorts, um, just in different colors. So this one is Free People, size six. I can't remember the exact style name, but they were like a chino. I think they're like the baggy chino or something like that. This is definitely a, like a beige, light tan. Um, let's see here. This is a cotton and elastane blend. Yep, so very cute on those. Um, again, I know we're going out of the season for shorts, but I was not gonna pass up Free People for a dollar. Um, this one, one side of the Free People tag is um, loose, but um, this is also a size six and it's the same pair of shorts, just in a darker, um, darker brown, darker tan color. So happy to pick those up. And then I did pick up this pair of shorts. It is by Toad & Co. It's a size eight, just a pair of blue flat front, kind of longer chino shorts. Um, and this actually did have the style name on it. It's called the Letty Short. It is from spring of 2015, but these are in excellent condition. And this brand does pretty well for me. I don't find it super often, but was very happy to find it. Um, this pair of shorts was definitely interesting looking. Um, it is at We The Free. It's a size medium. Um, yeah, just really interesting looking at, it has this like kind of square drop crotch area. Um, and these, I can't remember the exact style name. I will put it here. Um, it did describe like the style of short um, or the like style of the bottom part. So anyway, these were very interesting. <laughs> um, they were, let's see here, 100% cotton. And most of this was relatively newer because um, I could tell from the free people tag on the inside. Um, so I was happy to get those. This person did have an eclectic uh, style of um, wardrobe. So uh, there's a lot of anthropology and then we're gonna get into some other pieces that are more lag and look. So yeah, definitely eclectic. <laughs> this is Maeve and it does say by anthropology. So it is a little bit newer. Um, this was a size medium. I just thought this was adorable. Um, this I believe was hanging up. So I believe it was $2. It kind of has a striped, um, 
liner underneath and then this really pretty dotted overlay um, kind of tool overlay and then the back it does have a little tie right here just thought that was really cute okay I believe everything else here was two dollars each so um, got some Eileen Fisher. This is size medium, really pretty mustard, yellow tunic, long sleeve top. Um, this was, let's see here. Um, looks like it's a, a blend of organic cotton, nylon, and silk. Um, so great material on that. Another Eileen Fisher, size extra small on this one, but it, you can tell it's definitely oversized. Just a green little dress. Again, more of that lag and look, basic look. This was 100% cotton, uh, organic cotton. So she was definitely into cotton, silk, wool, those really nice materials. Now this um, technically was $2 each and I will be listing these separate, but I think technically they could be considered a set. So again, Eileen Fisher, this is a size medium and it's like a button front like jacket but I think it could be worn as a dress. Um, it is long sleeves, um, but the thing is, is that where it starts to go to the V-neck, um, I definitely think is a little bit too low. So I think you would have to wear something underneath it. Um, when I got home, I did realize somewhere along the back here, there was a very light mark, or maybe it was on this other piece, but um, still for $2 and these were 100% linen, so again, Eileen Fisher, actually this one was a small versus a medium. So that's another reason why I will be listing it separate. It does have cap sleeves, just a little mini dress um, or a long tunic, however you choose to wear it. This was also 100% organic linen. Um, and I believe it was this, there was just a very light stain on the back, but I will have to go and look at that before I list it to make sure to note it. This brand is an anthropology brand, but the RN number on the inside isn't anthropology so I'm not really sure but it is the brand one September I have sold it before with the anthropology RN number but um, this is a really pretty dress it has some really pretty blue embroidery up here at the front and then just a really pretty floral print this is another mini dress tunic she definitely had a style of dress that she liked wearing um, this does give a style number so that'll make it really easy to find this is rayon and spandex uh, and cotton so nothing like too crazy but I really enjoyed it that print I thought it was really pretty this is probably my favorite find of the whole whole trip um it is Johnny was so it is Johnny was work Johnny was workshop size medium but I love all of this embroidery this was too cute um it is like a brown green camo uh, like background with all this floral embroidery it is a button up. Look at that back. Oh my goodness. Another thing is this piece was 100% silk. So um, very nice, very nice indeed for two bucks, two bucks. Um, so definitely excited to get that one listed. This one is an anthropology brand. It's <laughs> Leafs Dottier, something like that. Um, it is a size four. This was also 100% silk. Just a really pretty long sleeve sheer floral print blouse. It has like kind of like almost pleat in the pleated in the back. Um, it's not like a super structured pleat, but just thought that was a very pretty print. Another anthropology item made by anthropology. This is a size small, just a striped long sleeve sweater top, but again, perfect for the season we're going into. This I think was just cotton. I don't think it was anything crazy. Uh, yep, cotton polyester blend. So very cute though. I think that's great for a basic piece. You can pair it with some really pretty like bright colored bottoms. Another anthropology uh, brand, Vanessa Virginia. This is like a sheer gray tunic top with a really pretty almost pale orange uh, embroidery situation going on. Let me see if this shows what the material was. 100% viscose. So, very cute. 
only a couple more pieces. Uh, another anthropology brand. She really liked anthropology. Um, it is Meadow Rue and it is a size medium. This kind of reminds me of the Free People thermals um, with like what's going on here at the neckline. It's just a really pretty embroidered crochet um, detail. And then it has, um, what are these called? Button cuffs, right? No, not button cuffs. What is this called? Is it button cuffs? It's later at night. I'm not really sure, but <laughs> you can roll this up and make it kind of a three quarter length sleeve situation. Um, so again, just really cute. Um, great color for the season. And this is 100% cotton. And then the last two pieces technically I think are supposed to be a set, but I will be listing them separate. They are Eileen Fisher. She loves Smiley Fisher and Anthropology for sure. <laughs> um, this one is a size small. It is a beautiful teal green color. Um, this is also 100% linen. It is a cropped wide leg. So definitely gonna be getting these listed pretty soon. Um, and then she had the matching top as well. Boxy oversized fit. Does have pockets, which is great. Um, size small as well. And again, 100% linen. So. I am definitely glad that I came across her grad sale. There was actually a lady in front of me looking um, at the rack um, as I came up and started looking at the rack as well. And I just know she also got some really great stuff. She also had a lot of J. Crew items um, and some loft items, but I just, I, I'm hesitant to pick those brands up. Um, on my own just because I do get them in consignment. Um, I have a couple of consignment clients that will send me J. Crew things, but if I'm just outsourcing myself, I typically don't pick it up. Um, mostly because like with J. Crew, I just don't know what I'm looking for. Um, I know there's some really good special pieces, um, but yeah, I'm sure she got some really great things as well. And I definitely made sure to go through and look at things double, you know, twice, um, just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It was really fun to source and find. And it's going to be some pieces that I'm really excited to list as we're going into the fall and winter season. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.